Grab Bag, a collection of newspaper columns by James H. Jones from the 1970s and 1980s. I have, I confess, blundered unaware into the vilest male chauvinist piggery. What was my offense, you ask? I'm going to tell you. On behalf of a client, I composed and distributed a form letter headed off, Dear Sir, can you grasp the magnitude of such a low act in the return mail? Cries of indignation, colorful suggestions as to my ancestry, and the dark suggestions of a lynching party followed this blatantly provocative verbal felony. I can foresee the day in a future non-gendered world where a Shakespearean Mark Antony will mount the rostrum and solemnly intone, friends, row persons, country people, lend me your ears. Who oh boy. Oops, I mean, who person? I heard the other day that the Purple Martin eats 2,000 mosquitoes. That amounts to his complete body weight every day. Aunt Wanda always did say she ate like a bird. Before bedtime the other night, daughter Kathy picked up the alarm clock from her nightstand, regarded it gravely, and remarked, Hey, Dad, this thing ran out of ticks. Did you know that Lady Godiva was one of the first successful bareback riding acts? I've never fancied myself a cat fancier. It was Thanksgiving Day that a shivering little half-grown calico picked us out, mewing poignantly at the front door. She had her way in small nibbles. First, the kids would be allowed to pet her on the porch for a while. Then in the front hall. Then, well, one saucer of milk couldn't hurt anything. By now, she's an established institution at her house. I've had a chance to learn more about these peculiar creatures. For example, it occurs to me that you never really own a cat. Cats will allow you to associate with them on their terms, provided you deliver food and attention as expected. Unlike dogs, felines are aloof from any degrading display of servility. Every cat action is performed because she wants to, never out of the feeling that it will please her master. Cats have long been associated with the mysterious. Maybe one reason is that deep within the brain of the most delicate and gentle tabby, there lurks the primal killer instinct. If you doubt it, watch the fire of silent hate smoldering in your cat's eye the next time she sits by the window sizing up a fat sparrow outside. Cats, except when old or crippled, have no capacity for being clumsy, even when startled to action suddenly. In each movement and pose, the effect is harmonious. They can, it seems, shift the gears of their character instantly from the court jester tangled up in a ball of yarn to the perfect picture of dignity and decorum. Cats are quite a study.